Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I'd like to welcome you to the club. And let's give a beautiful, beautiful round of applause to LA Cool, LA Cool, LA Cool, LA Cool. One day I'ma get it right. Spin the rims, spin it tight, no longer living it. Yo, what's up? I'm Brittany J, Rifleman's niece. When I was 15 or 16, I started recording with Rifleman. He can rap anything, like any word, throw it at him, he can rap it like that. It's just crazy, like on the spot, like if you ask him real quick, he'll go da -da 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 -da. When I was younger, you know, that's where I learned how to perform, I learned how to write songs, I learned how to rap. I usually don't rap that much now, but I used to rap with them. You know, I get like my hand movement in the studio like that, I get that from him. For I record real fast because of him, you know, working with him all the time, recording with him all the time. So I already kind of knew what to do when I was trying to do my own thing. The singing is like rapping, like I did a song with him. You might know it, Rise Against the Brain. Time to rise, let the pain go from every angle. Open eyes, let the gang know that it's a strangle. We all, we all wrote it. We all felt it, where it was coming from, you know, what everybody was going through. Every performance that we did was just dope. Well. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> My name is Alejandro, man. They call me Two Mex. I'm in the crew at LA Cool, called the Afterlife Crew. LA Cool is just like a one-man explosion. It's probably the most underrated MC in the city. At the Good Life, if you did a song and you sucked, he'd start the boo thing. If you did a song and you were fresh, he'd be the one. He'd be giving it up. I've been rapping up here for about four years. He was a platform for young artists like me. The show that I saw him at the Globe in Pomona, this, this dude like just came out with like the fastest, craziest, like multi-jazz pattern raps that you would ever hear. Mark Park, home of unsigned rappers and very weird bums since 1994. Been knowing this brother cool since back in the days of good life. He was always a step ahead. You know when he got on stage, something was gonna get something was gonna get put out there that he was like, that's a single. I mean, even these young cats that try to do what they do and they can't keep up with him. Come on now. Do I hang with the bastards? I guess I like chill with minors. I'm a grown man, I do what I want, I puff with them blunt and I go to work. Come on now, who kicks lines like that? Who out there in LA today? In LA back then, in LA in this future, it's never gonna kick a line like that. That's how cool LA cool is. In the 80s, mid, late 80s, my cousin and his homeboys was the flyest thing I had ever seen as a kid. It was way cooler than gang banging at a time when gang banging ran, ran the streets. My cousin is, in a lot of ways, my reason for hip hop. He's my original group. When we get together, there's a natural thing that happens to chemistry. Cool basically taught me my whole studio etiquette. If you didn't have a verse, you're not on the song, we're moving on. If you took too long to do your verse, you're not on the song, we're moving on. You learn to be dope or quit real fast. He's a master, I'm his pupil, so I didn't see struggles. I saw, for me, I saw through him getting better at what I wanted to do. One thing that I learned from Project Float and my big cousin, when you want to rap, you be dope, and you bring out yourself. His own friends that went to junior high, and high school with him couldn't keep up with his passion for this. Hmm. Music is my nine to five. I do it as long as I'm alive. Whenever my thoughts collide, I'm living proof there is a God. Dope your show just may be, but the clan's the one they pay to see. I love you, cool. Fuck the bullshit. You one of the best, most beautiful motherfuckers that I ever had the gift and blessing of meeting. 
and I'm a better person for meeting you. What else can you say about touching another motherfucker life? It's done. Ha! Mm. The first time I knew that something was gonna happen as far as with this underground rapping. We was in Madison, Wisconsin. It was me, Red, and AC, and then some white boy just came up to me out of clear blue. He kind of like almost pushed him out the way and was like, hey, it's like, you really cool, you really cool, huh? Yeah, you know, we wasn't putting out pictures with the CDs and stuff like that. So even for him to know who I was at that moment, that was like fuel for me to keep going what I was doing. How'd you meet L.A. Cool? Oh, I met L.A. Cool, you know what I'm saying? Fuck um, interviews, fuck cameras. Yeah. Fuck haters. All I need is a motherfucking million dollars. <laughs> fuck haters. Just the elements that y'all around. That's what goes down. Now, I met L.A. Cool at a place called Good Life. We were a brotherhood, taking the music and the moment and the rawness of the hood and this element and all the things that he is and he does to the next level. He'll we'll take you on different elements and trips where your mind ain't thought rap can go. I have to pull the steel, bro. Don't talk shit about the slave. I shoot your ass and I was born away from me. I'm so sick, I'm sicker than you Yeah, I'm sick like this shit is I chew Motherfucker, I'm the murk to the day that die, nigga, I'm cool But you can't have time with me, though 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 You can not have time with me 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 though you we're gonna have them introduce themselves. Oh, Deutschland. <laughs> this is Rifle Man from Project Blow Hip Pop Clan, aka LA Cool. That was the nicest introductory of the If you're doing tours, you out a lot. A lot of local shows. It's a lot of late nights. You gotta be in a studio. Number one writer, number one writer. There I go again. I'm so fly. Uh, Gotta grab the mic and take it I do it real while MCs they On some fake shit Thought I was gonna say some other shit But soon as I get my mind to uncover it I can dip to another place And just in case I'm the numero uno, the ace That disrupt what's going on in your house And with your kids you might be away Say if I go somewhere and I come back with something good from the place My kids don't really care Who's your favorite rap song? My daddy <laughs> Say if you're in a relationship, especially as an underground artist, they don't see you as the same people that they like and love on TV. They don't see you as that same person. I had to blow up. I see what it is. They know rifle man blow up. Every fucking set I get on, they don't want a nigga to cock back. You can't do your whole shit. Hold up. Check this out. Nigga, I'm about to go Nirvana on these motherfuckers, man.